When you think about the fantasy genre, instantly dragons and magic comes to mind. But there's so much more to this category than that. Even though one of the most popular fantasy television shows offer dragons and magic, there are many more shows to choose from that still fall into the same category but have traded dragons for vampires and witches. In that context, we bring to you this video about top 10 best fantasy TV shows of all time and some honorable mentions at the end. I recommend you to watch the video completely so that you would not miss anyone on the list. So, let's get started. Number 10, His Dark Materials. His Dark Materials is a fantasy drama television series commissioned by the BBC as an adaptation of the eponymous trilogy of novels of the same name by Philip Pullman. His Dark Materials shows us alternative parallel universes. There is mystery and wonder, strong characters, young people coming of age through overcoming their pasts and discovering where they come from and who they are. The story follows the epic adventures of Lyra Bellacqua as she tries to find her friend Roger and discover more about what the mysterious dust is. Along with her demon Pantalaemon, Lyra meets giant armored polar bears, witches, and evil villains. Her adventure begins when she overhears a secret and discovers a mysterious rare device called the Alithiometer, which only she can use. The show got 7.8 rating on IMDb and 85% score on Rotten Tomatoes and it is available to watch on HBO Max. Number 9, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is a supernatural teen drama television series developed by Jeff Davis for MTV, loosely based on the 1985 film of the same name. Tyler Posey portrays a young werewolf who defends his California town from supernatural creatures and other threats. The show revolves around Scott McCall, a high school student living in the fictional California town of Beacon Hills. Scott becomes the eponymous teenage werewolf of the series after he's bitten by an alpha werewolf the night before his second year of high school, drastically changing his once ordinary life. The bite forces him to balance his new identity with day-to-day -day teenage life and eventually help protect his hometown which he learns is a beacon for supernatural activity. The series premiered in 2011 and concluded in 2017 after 6 seasons. Teen Wolf is available on Netflix. Number 8, The Witcher. One of the reasons The Witcher was such a divisive show when it premiered on Netflix was because it isn't the type of romantic, spectacle fantasy that mainstream audiences found so appealing in Game of Thrones. The Witcher is very much classic high fantasy, complete with quests, strange monsters, and a world in which humans may be the dominant species but are far from the only one. The story is about a mutant monster hunter for hire, Geralt of Rivia, played by Henry Cavill. The Witcher may not appeal to everyone, but it's sure to please die-hard fans of the genre. And while the Netflix hit does deliver delightful monster of the week stories, the overarching narrative of a prophecy that binds Geralt to a young princess, Ciri, and Geralt's staunch resistance to give in to his own destiny gives the show a narrative hook that will leave you wanting to toss a coin to The Witcher. The show got 8.2 rating on IMDb and 81% score on Rotten Tomatoes, and you can stream it on Netflix. Number 7 Outlander If you love a fantasy show but don't want your head to explode with the nitty-gritty mechanics of intricate world building, welcome to Outlander. Stars' roving adventure story centers on Claire Randall, played by Katrina Belf, a World War II nurse who accidentally travels back in time 200 plus years to 18th century Scotland. It's there she meets the true love of her life, a strapping Highlander named Jamie Fraser. Together they try to change history, manipulate royalty, and most importantly, find time for hot, steamy romance. That's right, this is an R-rated adventure series, so don't watch it with your kids. You will be intrigued by the premise, be awed by the cinematography, and find yourself sticking around for the love story that defies the ages. The Outlander got IMDb rating of 8.4 and 89% Rotten Tomatoes score, and it is available to stream on Netflix. Number six, Supernatural. The show follows the terrifying yet thrilling journeys of Dean and Sam Winchester in the super popular Haunting series. The two brothers hunt monsters while facing ever increasing evil and landscapes from hell, literally. The two lost their mother as boys to a demonic supernatural force and were raised by their father to be soldiers in the ever increasing fight of demonic and other mysterious creatures. Although a few turn out to actually be on their side, mostly try to kill them. 
Violent secrets and threatening memories heap extra burdens on the brothers while they try to keep the things that go bump in the night at bay. With their bag of tricks and tools that are sometimes rendered useless, the two must help each other in dire times. This popular dramatic series ended with overall 15 seasons with final episode released in 2022. The show got 8.4 rating on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, score of 93% and it is available to watch on Amazon Prime. Number 5. Vikings Vikings is inspired by the sagas of the Viking Ragnar Lothbrok, one of the best-known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as the scourge of England and France. The show portrays Ragnar as a farmer who rises to fame through successful raids into England and eventually becomes a Scandinavian king with the support of his family and fellow warriors. As tensions between the Vikings and the English royals reach a bloody breaking point and as the Vikings themselves clash over their conflicting Christian and skeptic beliefs, Vikings begin an epic journey that will take them across oceans and through battlefields. From Kattegat to England and beyond as they fight for survival and glory. Vikings Valhalla, a sequel to Vikings, which released in 2022, is set over a thousand years ago in the early 11th century which chronicles the heroic adventures of some of the most famous Vikings who ever lived. With 8.5 rating on IMDb and 93% Rotten Tomatoes score, Vikings is available to stream on Netflix. Number 4. Game of Thrones don't let the memes fool you. The reason so many people were up in arms about the final stretch of Game of Thrones is that the show was most excellently up until that point and set an impossibly high bar for fantasy series. The adaptation of George R. R. Martin's book series became a must-watch thanks to its well-crafted characters and elaborate narratives. And by leaning into its spectacle appeal, it became a full-on event series. Set in the fictional realm of Westeros, the drama was always high stakes. No character was ever safe from violence, sacrifice or other consequences and there were surprises aplenty in store for every single person who ever even dreamed of having power. Its prequel, The House of the Dragon Season 1 got astonishingly positive reviews from both critics and audience and heavily praised for its action-packed climax. Game of Thrones got 9.2 rating on IMDb and 89% score on Rotten Tomatoes and it is available to watch on HBO Max. Number 3. Avtar Avtar The Last Airbender made history as one of the most critically acclaimed and beloved Western animated television series ever. It's a fantasy world in which select humans can control or bend the elements of water, earth, fire and air brushed tantalizingly close to our own while remaining altogether magical. With its anime-influenced drawing style, cast of lovable characters and balance of humor with serious tones, the show spawned a massive legacy including a sequel series, The Legend of Korra and a live-action film remake. Over 15 years after the original aired, another live-action remake is in the works, this time from Netflix and the protagonist and titular avatar Ang will be played by Gordon Cormier. With 9.3 rating on IMDb and 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes, the show is available to stream on Paramount+. Plus. Number 2. The Vampire Diaries and the Originals The Vampire Diaries and the Originals are supernatural teen drama fantasy television shows developed by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck based on the book series The Vampire Diaries, written by L.J. Smith. We felt we could list these together since the originals is a spin-off of The Vampire Diaries. The Vampire Diaries series began in 2009 and ran through to 2017 when it ended. In it, a young teen girl discovers the truth about vampires and other supernatural creatures and ends up having to choose between two vampire brothers. The originals, on the other hand, which is the spin-off, centers on Klaus who is a werewolf vampire hybrid. Klaus, along with several members of his family, was originally introduced on The Vampire Diaries. In this series, Claus investigates rumors of a plot against him and is joined by siblings and friends in order to claim their city by forming an alliance with the witches. The originals ended in 2018 with a total of 5 seasons. With IMDb rating of 7.7, .7, The Vampire Diaries is available to watch on Netflix and with 8.3 IMDb rating, The Originals is available to watch on Amazon Prime Video. Number 1. House of the Dragon 
season one of Game of Thrones' prequel finished with a bang, or a dragon snap anyway. After 10 episodes, House of the Dragon has established its core cast, introduced us to three generations of Targaryens, and laid the groundwork for a civil war that looks set to consume Westeros as well as the next few seasons of the show. It also brought us a dragon battle, huge lizards dog fighting through a storm before one comes to an abrupt dental stop. In real life, it would sound perverse, but in a Game of Thrones spin-off, it's positively a compliment to note that it has delivered the dragon-related mayhem, family plotting, and murder we hoped for. The second season is set to adapt one of the more memorable and violent storylines from Martin's Fire and Blood. The show got 8.5 rating on IMDb and 93% score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it is available to watch on HBO Max. I hope you liked the video and if you like these shows, here are some honourable mentions that might interest you.